those days was very different than it is now. For it was a group of small kingdoms, not just one kingdom. And Alfred was the king of just one of those kingdoms. That kingdom was called Wessex. It was not the biggest, nor was it the most powerful. All of the English kingdoms were overrun by Danish Vikings. In fact, there came a point where only Wessex stood, and only part of it was not overrun. Now there lived in Wessex a man named Leofwine. He was a miller. And Leofwine and Leofwine's wife, they lived in a small house by their mill outside the village. It was very dark and dangerous times for them. They went to bed every night afraid. For at any time, the Danish Vikings could arrive in their village. One day they learned they had even more cause to worry. They went to church on a Sunday, and they found out that the king was dining in the royal residence. It was a winter evening, and the Vikings had arrived at the hall. The king's army had been put to flight. The king was dead or missing. Nobody knew. And now the Danes controlled all of England. That night, Leofwine and his wife went to bed terrified. And it was very late, and a knock came at the door. You know, that was not a time that respectable people would come to the house. Leofwine got up to answer the door, and he brought with him the only weapon he had. It was a small axe for chopping wood. And he went to the door. His wife followed. She brought the only weapon she had. It, it, it was a broom for sweeping floors. So the two of them went to the door, and Leofwine said, who is it? A voice on the other <coughs> side said, I am a traveler in trouble, and I need your help. Leofwine went to open the door, and his wife hit him with the broom. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot let this person in. You do not know who it is. It could be a, it could be a Viking. He'll kill you. God knows what he'll do with me. The next thing you know, He'll be coming in and saying, what's in your pouch? <laughs> Leif Wine said, I'm sorry. I cannot let you in. The voice said, please, I am hungry. I am tired. I am injured. Leif Wine turned to his wife. He's hungry. He said, I can hear him. <laughs> he said to his wife, if it were me, if I were hungry or tired or injured, wouldn't you want someone to let me in? His wife said, no. <laughs> he said, well, I would. And with that, he opened the door. And standing on the other side was the man they came to know as the unwashed stranger. Because in the time when people did not bathe so much as they do in these enlightened times, times this man was filthy. He smelled terrible. His clothes were ripped. He was covered in scratches. They let him in. They dressed his wounds. They fed him. And they gave him a mat to sleep on. And he slept. And he slept. And he slept. And then he woke up. And he ate. <laughs> and slept. This went on for a week. He ate and he slept. And he ate and he slept. Until Leofwine's wife had had enough. She took the broom, and she went to where the unwashed stranger was sleeping. And she hit him with the broom. He sat bolt upright. She said, in this house, everyone works. Leofwine tends the mill. I tend the house. So far, you eat and sleep, and that will change. And she handed him a broom, and he did not hit her with it. <laughs> no, he did not. He swept the floor badly. And then he chopped some firewood. Badly. <laughs> Everything he did, he did badly. And Leofwine's wife complained to Leofwine, but he said, he is our guest for now. He will be here until he is better. And whatever he can do, we are grateful for. So it went on like that. One day, Leofwine's wife said to the stranger, I am going to town. On the fire, there are some cakes. I am going to ask you only, do not let the cakes burn. Surely, even you can handle that. So 
Leif Warren's wife went into town. <laughs> you can see this already. <laughs> Leif Warren's wife went into town. She came back. The stranger was lost in thought. 